Let's go to Richard Drax. Richard. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As we've heard, 457 brave men and women of our armed forces have paid with their lives to protect us here at home. Countless others have been wounded. I sincerely hope their sacrifice has not been in vain. I seek my honourable and gallant friend's assurance that this withdrawal will not see a reluctance on our part to combat terrorism in the future. For, as Edmund Burke said so succinctly, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Minister. Um, thank the honourable friend for his question. He's entirely right, and I should be clear, as I hope that the Integrated Review made clear, that the United Kingdom has an ambition to be a force for good in the world, and that where terrorism threatens the UK interests or the interests of our allies, we will be present, building the capacity of partner forces and helping to remove that instability and insecurity uh, around the world. What we've learned over the last 20 years is that there are ways of doing that, and I think that the vision that we have set out in the Integrated Review is for a far more intelligent way of doing that, developing capacity, tackling insecurity, and being a force for good around the world.